for a long time people believed that children were born with differences or disabilities as a result of the mother's unexpressed lascivious longings. Later we got on to a psychoanalytic idea that most of the problems that children had were caused by the behavior or the personalities of their parents. People thought that you were gay because you had an overbearing mother and a passive father. People thought you had autism because you had uh, a refrigerator mother of some kind. People thought that you had schizophrenia because you had a mother who secretly wished that you not exist. And over time we've come to recognize that those are not accurate descriptions and that these profound states autism, gayness, schizophrenia, and many others are much too big to be caused by what a parent does. Parents, of course, have an effect on their children, and they can sometimes be very helpful, and they can sometimes be very harmful. But the notion of assuming as a starting point that the reason someone has a problem is because of poor parenting has been incredibly poisonous for parents and incredibly poisonous also for the people directly affected by those conditions who are left constantly to think, if my mom had been different, if my dad had been different, it wouldn't have turned out this way. It's left them angry, it's left them full of blame. What it has not done is to help anyone to get better.